Hello and welcome to another Beaufort County segment. We are excited to dive into the details of one of the most anticipated events of the summer, the 68th annual Beaufort Water Festival, taking place from July 12th through the 21st at the picturesque Henry C. Chambers Waterfront Park. This beloved tradition brings together locals and visitors alike for a celebration of community, culture, and coastal charm. From thrilling boat races and live music to delicious food and family-friendly activities, there's something for everyone. And beyond the fun, the festival plays a crucial role in boosting our local economy. Joining us now to discuss the economic impact and what attendees can expect this year is Mr. Rob Wells, President and CEO of Visit Beaufort, Port Royal and Sea Islands Convention and Visitors Bureau. So welcome, Rob. Uh, thank and you for having me on here. Yes. It's uh, great to be a a part of the uh, festivities that are soon to come in and what it means to our community uh, from an economic standpoint. So speaking of the economics, what is the overall impact of the Water Festival on Northern Beaufort County? Uh, the big impact is an economic impact of about $7 million over the course of a 10-day uh, 10 uh, festival. And it's, it's, it's brought by both locals and visitors into the area as they come and, and partake in this. Uh, we kind of we kind of look at this as a homecoming of sorts, and uh, it's a great uh, great time, and it impacts quite a bit. So this would be one of those events that impacts accommodations, retail, restaurants, transportation, and all the other key sectors that you need in economic impact. Could you dive in a little bit more about the local impact on businesses and in terms of visitor spending? Yeah, ex exactly. So. Of course, there's an overnight accommodations. Uh, we'll, we'll see a, a, an impact, especially on that Friday night, Saturday night, uh, and, and those weekend events. And then you're gonna see a, a, a lift in, in restaurants. Traditionally, it's been about a 20% increase in restaurant spending during Water Festival weekend. And even our retail business, we'll see is somewhere between a five and 10% increase mm -hmm. during these 10 days. Mm -hmm. um, are there any differences in visitor patterns between the two weekends of Water Festival? Uh, there, there are. Um, you see a lot more, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, overnight uh, visitation in the first part of the week. But as the uh, more visitors do show up throughout the week and on that following weekend they do, uh, there's just not many of the overnight. So what you what you see is you see visitors who may be in other parts of the county coming and partaking in some of the festivities that take place in the Waterfront Park. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and people coming from you know Charleston and Absolutely. Savannah coming from all over. Um, what opportunities exist to increase the economic impact of the Water Festival? Well, I think they've been doing this for quite some time at Waterfront Park, and the Water Festival Committee and the, the Commodore, they have a great strategy in place. They try to make it family-friendly throughout the whole time. I think that's encouraging. I think that uh, allows families to make those decisions. And then, of course, great weather, ponies and that. But programming matters. And I, I feel like if, um, if there's a an opportunity to do a better job of packaging for overnight, encouraging more people to stay in the market. It is boost, boost accommodations, uh, boost retail and restaurant. A, per, a visitor that travels by day will spend a good size of money, but an overnight visitor will spend almost triple the money. And so that's something the Water Festival folks have, have taken into consideration when they build their packages. We want our hoteliers to do the same. Wow, that I wouldn't even have, you know, thought of the spending difference just from one single night. Um, all of the, you know, the financial impact aside, what is your favorite part of the Water Festival? It's definitely talent show night. It's for my family and I think my daughters have friends that will participate and be a part of that. Uh, when we first moved here, Low Country Supper was our favorite, you know, for, uh, for years. And it's kind of a community family fa uh, friendly, uh, good dinner, you know, get out there and, and see some cool stuff. Uh, as I, I Proceed. I, I like Motel Monday. I think everybody in my office likes Motel Monday. I think it's a, it's definitely a local favorite uh, to see see the bands come in and play. But it really is fun. If you haven't been to Water Festival, if this is your first time in the market, or you've, you haven't made that decision, you know, pick a pick multiple nights and go during the week. Uh, it's not going to be. You're expecting somewhere between twenty five hundred to thirty five hundred people per night, up to five thousand for the big concerts. But it is a great opportunity to, to be on the water, be near the water. Um, if you have a boat, hey, float the river, 
enjoy the sight and sounds with your friends and family on the boat enjoy the sounds uh, of the concerts that take place I know last year was my first year ever going as I you know just moved to the area not too long prior to that mm -hmm. and it was an absolute blast every single night something different you're gonna find a different type of crowd Absolutely. different things going on and it really is a great way to get out there and meet people and and socialize it, um, is, it is truly a community event and um, it's what makes Beaufort one of the best small towns in the South. Exactly. So I know so many people are looking forward to it. And you mentioned talent show night. You ever got up on stage and showed any talents? I don't believe that's a talent people want me to show. <laughs> well, Rob, I think that's all the time we have for now. So thank you so thank much you for much. joining us. And we hope everyone makes their way out to the Henry C. Chambers Waterfront Park between July 12th and 21st for the Water Festival. So thank you.